Hello YouTube, this is my Queen's Eye back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all of the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Everything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. It's a, um, yeah, because these same three cards is on the bottom of the deck. It is a betrayal that's about to be illuminated um, regarding an aunt, a sister. <clears throat> I did a video, like, Two, maybe three months ago and then I did one like a year ago it was like one of my first like between my first five videos right very first five videos that I did the title of that video was the killers the killers are amongst us and not too long ago I did a video and I, and I was saying in that video, like, somebody was a serial killer. It's about to come out. Or it's already out. Or it's just certain certain things that have happened to certain women are coming out about this serial killer. Somebody like really used you up till they could not use you no more. And what I mean by that is them using you as a scapegoat. <clears throat> they can't do it anymore. I keep picking up a hoarder. Like somebody just has a bunch of shit either in their house um, in their front yard, in their backyard, in their basement, like somebody's a fucking hoarder. And I'm gonna tell you something: that hoarder, the stuff that they have, is from the people that they have killed. Ugh. Let me get a prayer in. Most high loving ancestors of my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to center tenfold. Thank you. Is something also coming out about a light worker that's not true? Like a death they could have been a part of or something like that. But it's not true. Oh we with this death and the nine of swords. And the sun. Again, I just showed y'all these same three cards. The hierophant, the devil with the sun. Oh, we. This is really like dark versus light. <laughs> it's like it's like we got their story, your story, and then like the most high or the truth. You take it how it resonates. Or this was somebody going back and forth like across the fence. Taking your light energy or um, whatever you've been speaking on here. Somebody is still trying to like end something for you. And it's really because you're illuminating everything that they have done in the fucking dark. Like I said, somebody can't use you as a scapegoat anymore. The Most High is illuminating these devils. The light worker, 
like I said, is something either coming out about you, but you are a light worker. If you were sending messages and people were not listening, they hear loud and fucking clear now. They hear loud and clear. Like, people are scared to go outside because they're paranoid. Like, they don't even want to take the kids outside. Like, these people are really fearing for their life. But, I mean, if you feel like you was on the up and up and you was doing everything the right way, what the fuck are you actually fearing? What are you fearing? What are you worried about? Because they already know. You see? Somebody could have, um... The Hierophant here? Either it was like a FBI agent or um, higher up, higher officials here that was either involved in in passings and deaths, or they themselves have passed dealing with these people. Now you just gotta take it how it resonates. And everybody's trying to figure out why the shit not hitting you, cause you're protected. <laughs> You're getting what you put out. Look. <laughs> You're getting what you put out here. People are now really realizing when it's too late that they have really like gotten in the bed with the fucking devil just for some fucking money. Just for some money here. For some of you this this was yours and people delayed it. And it's still yours though. Look with the Empress. <laughs> it's still yours. And they're still trying to figure out how you still able to maintain this energy. It's because of you being in the light. You're a light worker. You're a light worker. And people didn't like that because they didn't want you to reveal or illuminate their darkness. But that's your job. Somebody could be having nightmares about who they killed or they're seeing like their own death here. Or their own ending. You take it how it resonates. Death with the um, hang one though. That's okay. And what it's really showing people. You being a light worker. Is that you really do not have to lay a hand on nobody. You don't. You're here to expose it. Page of Swords. You could have always been curious. I always get when I use this deck, <laughs> this Witch's Tarot. When I use this deck and I see the Page of Swords, I always get curious, George. It's something really about that. Somebody's name could be George <laughs> or Georgie. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Oh, solid. <laughs> solid. Ten of Swords. 
four of cups, five of cups, seven of swords with the star, ace of cups. Yeah, how how could you try to set a booby trap for a chosen one? The chosen one is the trap. It's something about trap houses. Or empty houses. See this house right here? Where the windows is like dark. Like people are using like abandoned houses for like um, trap houses or drug houses. It's something like that. Somebody could pass away in one of those. But I mean, shit, if that's the type of energy that motherfuckers is putting out, that's what they're going to get back. Somebody is scared to die. It could be a Taurus male. They're scared to die here. Even though in their belief, they know that death is like promised. <laughs> Ooh, we. Somebody feels like the Most High did not keep their promise to them. But no, you need to keep your promise to the Most High. How dare that mf -er, male or female. You need to keep your promise to the Most High. And people was probably really actually thinking like the Most High was blessing them with, with opportunities and shit like that when it was the devil. Most High, I mean the devil said, hey listen. If I got, if I'm, if you want me to have these people, <laughs> now this may not be the case, but you take it how it resonates. The devil said to the Most High, "Hey, listen, I got these people. We can get them stuck, but they gonna want this Ace of Pentacles. Can we make them think that this coming from you and it's not from me, or can we make them? Can we make them think that it's coming from me? Cause this is really who they they worship in me." They not worshiping you. So, you know, you know most how that I don't have it. This the devil. <laughs> but can you make it look like it's coming from me? Like, like I'm keeping my promise. Even though they they go to church and the mosque. And, and then they try to do prayer meetings and prayer groups and shit like that. And then be trying to say your name. People don't like that shit. Because people know what they be doing. <laughs> people know what they be doing. You really don't care. I'm not going to say you don't care about like your image. But when it comes to like trying really to please others. You have gotten out of that. Like the death card. You're not pleasing anybody except for the most high and yourself. If anybody else want to come the fuck along. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to tell you something. There's people now realizing like damn. This person could have protected me. Because you are a light worker. You are a chosen one. You are supposed to be doing something. Which is enlightening people about this devil energy. And who they've been dealing with. Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. As I crack open the deck. With the Magician and the Ace of Cups. People don't even understand. It's really just something that you were blessed with. It is a gift that you were really, really blessed with. And people don't understand how you were able to overcome. <laughs> this says everything is fine. Strength with the Eight of Cups. They don't understand how you were able to get through or, or like cut the cords of any trap that anybody tried to set for you. Because you are the fucking trap. That's why. That's why you were able to get out. You're about to get something that you did in the past here. You could have helped like the courts do something in the past. For some of you, just take it how it resonates. This is something you're about to do about a past situation regarding a death. 
Because this is what's destined for you. Greatness. <laughs> See, motherfuckers say that shit, but they be doing the devil energy. The devil's work, right? Okay. Okay. Five of Pentacles. I just heard no rest for the wicked. There's no rest for the wicked. Somebody could be trying to pass something to your um to your child. And and when I say pass something to them, I mean like trying like doing some kind of mental magic. Magician, death, nine of swords with this devil, but they're protected. This is why it's so important for your intentions to be pure going into any situation. Because you don't know how the outcome is going to be. You don't know the result. But if you go in with pure intention, it's always going to be a win-win for you. And people don't understand why you're getting this greatness. <laughs> and they don't understand how you were able to like already see the traps that they were trying to set. And even if they tried to hide it in some kind of way, you still got out of it. That's fucking them up. That's fucking them up. Anything else? This not going to be long. We got the four of swords. I just heard um, chic. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Judgment, and the Fool. Um, it's something about construction. I didn't even see this Knight of Swords after the Judgment. It's something about construction, though. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. If somebody is getting nervous, focus on service. Focus on service. And understand, or even if you need to reflect on like how far you have come, you do that. You do that. I just heard, how can I make the world a better place? That's what you should be thinking about. That's you focusing on service. And it'll come to you. It's something about aromatherapy. Uh, aromatherapy. With these sunflowers and these rose petals here. Um, for somebody with this sun energy. You see this red flag. People was like. Concerned a little bit. When they was getting like, you know, their blessings, maybe it was happening like really fast and people was like, yeah, I told you I'm that shit. I know how to manifest. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. Now these motherfuckers is just crying. They just crying because they knew everything that they was doing behind the scenes here in the, in the, in the, um, behind closed doors. Oh, we. It could be a Taurus and a Capricorn getting um, something illuminating coming out about a death here or a sacrifice or them trying to sacrifice you or your mother or something like that. You take it how it resonates. 
But we got the star with the temperance here with the hermit. <laughs> like I said, you were chosen. For some of you, it's like you had people around you, but you were probably like a loner. really like you stood out from the crowd here we got the queen of cups right here it's a grandmother energy it's somebody's grandma shit it could be my own grandma <laughs> they sending a message i said it earlier death nine of swords they hear it loud and clear oh we Ten of Swords, <laughs> Two of Pentacles with the moon here. These motherfuckers was doing something behind closed doors, behind the moon, trying to masquerade here. And that shit just put them further, like, deeper in the fucking grave, yo. It's like motherfuckers tell you or say shit like, yeah, you know, I, you, you going to hell. No motherfucker not before you. You ain't touching that shit. You know why? Because you already experienced that shit here. It's fucking with these people. They wanted heaven on earth and give you hell on earth? Well, guess what? <laughs> you had hell on earth and you were about to get heaven on earth and afterwards. You see? You see how that shit go? They wanted heaven on earth? Okay. So, your ending, you get in fucking hell. I'm telling you, the grave that they dug for you is really what they're falling into. They think they taking a leap. They get ready to fall straight into fire, yo. Straight into the fire. <laughs> that was all she wrote. So, guys, thank you so much. That's the end of the video. Um, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.